Well, like you just heard, just moments from now, India's first nuclear-powered submarine will be launched. That means its dry dock will be flooded and it will begin an entire routine of harbor and sea trials and after a few years it will be commissioned formally into the arsenal of the Indian Navy. I'd first like to put a question to uh, Brahma Chelani who has written about what has been known as the advanced technology vessel for a long time now and now we know that it's going to be called uh, the INS Arihant. Brahma, this is going to be the most credible of our deterrents, is, is it not? It's the most vital element in our deterrent um, uh, development program. But let's not forget that uh, even though our aim is to build a credible but minimal deterrent, far from the de deterrent posture being credible, we still don't have minimal capability against China. We don't have a single deployed missile as of today that can reach Beijing. And INS Arihant is an important step forward, but let's not forget that it's several years away from actually being commissioned with sea launched ballistic missiles. So we are on the path of creating a second strike capability, but we are still far away from it. Okay, it's this second strike capability that I'd like to ask to about. Uh, to uh, Admiral uh, Raman Puri. He's a missile man. He's very well versed with gunnery and missile systems. He's a gunnery man himself. Uh, he's spent 40 years in the Navy. Uh, Admiral Puri, you are known to be a proponent of indigenous systems. You are a proponent of building things Indian. So obviously the Arihant must be a moment of, of pride for you, even if you were or were not associated with the project directly. What I'd like to ask you is a point that Brahma just raised. We still don't have a submarine launched ballistic missile it's taken us 25 years to build this nuclear submarine. Why, has it, why, why don't we still have a missile that will go into it? Because most people say that three years from now, when the submarine is ready to be commissioned, we still hold, won't have a missile. Well, I don't know. Uh, I do believe 25 years is not a long time. When you're starting from what I would call fundamental work in developing systems for the first time, no country has developed these complex systems. So you believe that it's taken 25 years to, for India to build its nuclear submarine by itself and that's definitely and an that's, achievement. And that's what it takes to do it. Right? Even systems like Patriot itself didn't, didn't come out earlier. So we are unnecessarily deriding ourselves. You know, systems have come late, they are all that. Well, whatever, that's but, a different issue. But Admiral Puri, you're a man who knows about our missile programs. You know something about our missile programs, <laughs> even if it's public domain knowledge. You're an expert on missile systems. Well, let so me tell you what you know about our missile programs. How good will the submarine launch ballistic missile that India is known to be building be when uh, it is Let ready? me put it this way. There are many technologies to be mastered before you go down to those 3,500, 4,000 kilometer missiles. The, the technology of underwater launch the missile leaving the water and then igniting and taking the booster phase up is different to what happens on land. It takes time to master these technologies. There's a lot of innovation involved. In these systems, we have to do things ourselves. You know, you can't buy these things. And it, take, it has taken us time to innovate. And secondly, I would say that we are not a country like China. You know, if we blew up things, the programs will stop in India.